What's up motocross action? For this MXA video, we have our very own Yamaha YZ 125 two-stroke Ryan Villapoto replica. <laughs> For this build, we wanted to create a no frills race bike. We only wanted to change the stuff that needed changing, work on the items that needed help, and replace the parts that we knew could be better. With Ryan Villapoto and Pro Circuit's Mitch Payton building YZ125 two-strokes together recently, it was an easy choice for us to hand Mitch our project racer and ask for the special sauce. Mitch milled the bottom of the YZ125 cylinder to lower the port timing, then he raised the ports back up with artistic curves, matched the power valve, staged the transfers, and machined the cylinder head to make room for the piston to complete its stroke. Inside the head, he reshaped the combustion chamber and squish band. Mitch added a special one-off pro circuit piston with a very thin single ring at just 8 tenths of a millimeter. He also added a heavier flywheel, which most tuners would think is blasphemy. And he added the special YZ125 black box, a Moto Tassinari V-Force 4R reed cage was bolted on, and the tank was filled with VP MRX02 mixed at 32 to 1. The coupe de gras was when Mitch handed us two pro circuit exhaust pipes to try. One was the YZ125 exhaust pipe that he calls the rack pipe. This is his bread and butter YZ125 pipe that fills up the racks of his warehouse. The second pipe was Ryan Villapoto's personal pipe and it was specially built to Ryan's power taste. At the time of the build, Pro Circuit had never sold a YZ125 RV pipe, but now it's available to the public. Diving into the suspension, you may not like what we're going to say, but we swapped out the Kealba SSS forks and shock in favor of WP Exact Pro components. Of course, the MXA Wrecking Crew knows that the stock Kealba SSS forks and shock have unmatched reputation for performance because we're the ones that have tooted their horn for the last 14 years. But now, we're here to tell you that for a pro racer who plans to race on a track as rough and brutal as Glen Helen, the WP cone valve suspension built to our specs on both ends of the YZ125 is preferable. Nobody is taking cone valves off their KTMs to mount a set of Kealbas, especially not YZ125 Kealbas. This is a choice for pro riders and because of the price, we don't think the amateurs need to make this upgrade. The meat and potatoes of our Yamaha YZ125 project bike are the engine and suspension, but every bike has to have its fair share of trickery. Here's the list we had. Clutch. We went with a Henson billet-proof clutch with a basket, inner hub, and pressure plate, along with three stiffer clutch springs to mate it to three OEM springs. The clutch lever, but not the brake lever, came from Works Connection, and we ran a Henson clutch cover and a GYTR carbon fiber ignition cover as well. On Ryan Villapoto's 125 All-Star winning YZ, he ran a 13 to 53 gear ratio. We wish we were good as Ryan, but we aren't. So we elected to go with a 13 to 51 ratio using Super Sprock sprockets. Stock gearing is at 1349 so you can see what both MXA and Ryan are trying to achieve with a six-speed Yamaha transmission. For handlebars we went with ODI podium flight bars and a KTM bend. We dressed the bars with ODI glue-on grips. We exchanged the YZ125 stock 1.1 radiator cap for a high-pressure CV4 2.0 radiator cap to resist boiling. The stock wheels on our YZ125 had been used and abused, so we ordered a set of MX Champ wheels and installed Bridgestone's X20 Battlecross intermediate to soft terrain tires front and rear. We remember when Bridgestone owned the National and Supercross ranks. In fact, when Ricky Carmichael switched from Bridgestone equipped Team Kawasaki to Dunlop sponsored Team Honda in 2002, the contingency guys would catch him on the starting line with Bridgestone tires on his Dunlop sponsored Honda. Bridgestone unfortunately pulled out of professional racing for a while, but now they're back in the motocross fold for good. Decal Works handled the MXA graphics on the UFO blue plastics and stadium front number plate, and they also made the gripper seat cover. Additionally, Metal Tech milled off the stock young Yamaha teeth and welded on a more aggressive set of teeth to keep our feet on the pegs.
So how fast was it? It was a rocket ship. Our race engine was 4.8 horsepower up on a stock YZ125 and 2.1 foot-pounds of torque stronger. The MXA test riders liked everything about the Pro Circuit engine. It was stronger at every point on the curve, pulled harder through the middle, and was planted to the ground, which we attributed to the heavier flywheel. Once the engine got up to the working part of the RPM range, which on a 125 two-stroke is above 9,500 RPM, it really came to life. It was not just fast, but it had a broad pull through the mid-range. It wasn't a peaky, wide open, all or nothing power band. It was the strongest YZ125 engine we had ever ridden. So what about the pipes? Since Mitch gave us two exhaust pipes to try, we had every MXA test rider run through the pipes in a round robin series of tests. On a big fast track, they liked the rack pipe best because although it was down one horsepower at 10,000 RPM to the YZ125 RV pipe, it gained most of that back up on top with more over rev. The over rev was a big deal for our vet test riders because it allowed them to bleed the engine dry at full tilt without having to shift. The YZ125 RV pipe was much stronger off the bottom and through the middle. It was especially good on the start where it jumped out of the gate and never hesitated, which was in sharp contrast to a typical 125 engine. The only complaint about the Yamaha YZ125 RV pipe was that it had slightly less over rev than the rack pipe. The lack of over rev is not a problem for a skilled rider like Ryan Villapoto. His goal is to get out front of the gate in the first 10 feet and use his shift lever to keep the bike moving through the gears at speed. The YZ125 peaked at 11,500 RPM with 38.32 horsepower, while the rack pipe peaked 400 RPM later with 37.92 horses. The custom built RV pipe was stronger across the board, but didn't carry as far as the slightly weaker rack pipe on the fast track. However, the tables turned when we went to a tighter, softer, or trickier track that put focus on acceleration out of the corners. The YZ125 RV pipe laid waste to the Pro Circuit rack pipe on corner X. That stronger bottom and middle made it a weapon of choice for pros. In our opinion, the choice between the two pipes comes down to two things, rider skill level versus track layout. We know which pipe Ryan chooses, but we don't know which pipe you'll choose. <laughs> The WP suspension verdict. We don't think it's controversial to run WP exact cone valve suspension on our Yamaha YZ125. It's not like we took stock WP air forks off the showroom KTM and put them on our YZ125. We took $4,000 WP cone valve forks off the fastest KTMs and Huskies in the country. That may sound expensive, but it is cheaper than Showa A-Kit or Kayaba factory spring forks. Those forks were awesome. They delivered a metered and controlled style of travel that was plush and predictable. So what did we really think about our own Yamaha YZ125 Ryan Villapoto replica? The most important thing about a 125 is how fast it is. Mitch gave our 2020 Yamaha YZ two-stroke almost five horsepower more than the Stalker. If you have limited money to spend on the hop-up YZ125, spend every penny you can on the hop-up engine. You don't need fancy wheels, exotic forks, or custom graphics. The MXA test riders love riding this bike, and we think you would too. For the jetting specs, more pricing, and all the details on MXA's Ryan Villapoto replica Yamaha YZ, click the link in the description to read the full story on this bike. And that's it for this MXA video, but to catch up on more and to stay up to date with our latest videos coming to our YouTube channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. And before you go, 
Here's a chance to catch up on MXA's latest two-stroke videos that we just released.